welcome to the new part in this part we will learn about the join operations so we will be learning what are join operations where and why should we use join operations what methods are available in the join operations it means if we need to implement join operations then what method we are going to use and at the last what may be the examples of the join operations so before starting this video let me tell you if you are working with any kind of application and any kind of database so definitely you will have lots of scenarios where you have to implement the join operations so this video is very much required for you to learn about the join operations so let's start first of all let's understand what are the join operations as per the microsoft document so there is a website docs.microsoft.com as per the microsoft documents a join of two data sources is the association of object in one data source with objects that share a common attribute in another data source okay so this definition is completely correct but if i simplified this definition then join operations are used to get data from multiple data sources so you may have two data source or you may have more than two data sources so join operations is basically to get from two or more data sources based on some common property in data sources so it means suppose you have multiple tables in your data database and in those tables you are storing some information suppose suppose you are saving employee details in those tables so in the first table suppose you are saving employee details in the second one you are saving the salary records in the third one you are saving the addresses but in all those table there is something common that we are talking about one employee so in all the tables there will be employee id so if we need to fetch data from these all these tables so it may be two tables it may be three tables if we need to fetch data from all these data sources then we have to work with something common property and that common property in this scenario is employee id so definitely in your scenario you will have some another properties so join operations are used to get data from multiple data sources based on some common property in the data source now let's see a visual example suppose i have this table this table is the employee table okay and this this table has two records id 1 2 names and it has address id so address id basically is the id of an, another table the table on the right side is the address table on the left side the table is employee and the second table has the details of the address so for example for id 1 which is of john the address is abc street for id 2 the address is xyz street okay if we need to implement join operations on these tables then what can we get this is the result table okay in the result table we have data from both the tables why if we talk about that what is the address of john so the john address is abc street why because of the address id property okay so the address id property for john is 3 and the details for id 3 in the address table is the line one is abc street that's why the address of the zone is abc street so there are multiple scenarios if you are working with the join operations there are multiple scenarios but this is a very common example so suppose the answer is from these two tables i am creating a new data source okay so basically i am performing some operations on both the tables and then based on something common based on some common property i am creating the result data set now let's see what are the different methods available in the join operations so join operations are of different types in next videos we will be learning about all those types but for that we need to learn what methods can be used to implement the join operations first method is join with the help of join method you can get data from two data source 
or more than two data sources. Then we have one more method group join used to get data from two data sources by grouping all the elements. Now the question is what is the meaning of grouping all the elements? So in the next videos we will be learning both the methods with different scenarios in details. Let's see how many type of combinations can we create from the join operations. So suppose I have these two tables. On my left side there is a A table and on the right side suppose there is a B table. And this common part is called the inner and the left one is called the outer and the right one is also the outer. Okay. And the complete circle on the left side is the left and on the right side is right. So suppose these are the combinations and from these combinations based on your scenario you can have different requirements suppose you need to find only the common part in both the tables then we call them inner join similarly we will have right join left outer join right outer join so full join suppose you need to get data from both the tables everything which is visible in both the tables then these are the multiple combinations in the next videos we will be learning all the combinations how to implement different type of joins how to use join keyword how to join jo group join keyword let's learn all those things in the next videos that's all in this part thank you for watching have a great day